안녕하세요. It's the back again. Uh, wow, this is. I mean, it was hard. It seems like it was hardly any time uh, from the Kill My Doubt comeback and album. And now they uh, also did the Japanese uh, Ringo, right? And then now there's Born to Be. So very, very busy, um, Itzy, doing a, a lot of stuff. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. It's good for them. So let's check it out. Let's see. Born to Be. Because I remember a while back, uh, not that long ago, but there was uh, some indications that Leah was taking a break from things for a little while. But well, I didn't know it was this um, extensive, right? Because you, uh, when you hear that, you think like, oh, okay, well, maybe some of the public appearances, uh, you know, some of the uh, performances uh, that are going on. But you, the fact that it uh, actually got to a production thing like like working on a, a new music video and, and she um, couldn't participate in that because usually you can schedule that kind of stuff you know um, so oh man uh, I I mean I'm pretty sure she's doing okay I haven't heard m much in terms of updates but um, I usually take that to be a good thing like you know what I mean there's nothing there's nothing too uh, bad that's going on, but I, uh, uh, I do hope she's okay, because um, that was like missing. You know what I mean? Like if it's, it, it, it's he comes out with a video or something, and I mean, if any of the members it, isn't there, it's like 
something's missing, man. Like uh, it would have been it would have been really interesting to see Leah in this concept, you know. Um, I, man, she would have she would have pulled it, pulled it off. You know what I mean? Like it, it would have been fun. It would have been fun. And, she, and it's uh, mostly an English song too. Uh, and Leah's, I, you know, I think one, probably among the most fluent in English uh, from the group. So uh, they were definitely feeling, you know, like, oh, where's, where's Leah, right? Where's our Leah? Uh, but I'm, I'm sure she'll be okay. So I did, because um, this came out just recently, right, a few days ago. And I, on Bubble, I was checking with uh Rhea Jean and Cheryong because I sub to them and and they were talking about, you know, the the new stuff that they had coming out. Oh, we got this, you know, the new the new songs gonna come out and it's really good, you know, like like uh Rhea Jean was especially kind of like excited about it. She was like, Yeah, I really like this one. And now that I see it and hear it, I I can understand why, you know. It, this is this is a concept that Rhea Jean would have a lot of fun with. You know, she's she really digs this kind of vibe um and it has that recent feel right like there's what i noticed is that visually especially there's a lot of these uh red and black sort of uh color schemes right like the like it's a lot of contrast between these very rich kind of burning red colors and then much darker uh, like backgrounds, you know what I mean? Uh, and um, uh, so tonally, a lot of things tend to match that as well. Um, like the recent uh, drama uh, from Espa, you know, like if you if you lo uh, look at this, the, the, the look and the sound of what the video was, you'll notice a lot of the same uh, color uh, uh, type of arrangement going on in, in its visual and it's also in the in the sound in the in the mix right there's a lot like a lot of the your you have your bass sounds your low end sounds and then your higher end sounds and a lot of those have a color tone quality about them that's very red you know like it's it's hot it's like it's a a very red sort of uh warm type of sound and it, it uh, varies in its intensity, right? Like, so some things will be a little bit steamy, but some things will be like laser hot kind of. And uh, and it's a cool, I guess, trend that, that is, is prevalent right now, um, at least among the girl groups, you know what I mean? Like a lot of these uh, fourth gen girl groups. Uh, I, I, I have n like recently noticed the way that these type of trends sort of ripple throughout if you will like but it's a cool thing it's you know there's nothing everybody does their own idea of it right like there's some some ingredients or some elements that you have all in common but everybody mixes it up in a their own iteration in their own way right in their own to suit their own style um and to help with sort of stylistic changes or you know like yeah, we've done this before but we want to try something new okay so what's the palette that we have to work with here what's like what are those uh ingredients right and what can we do with them and uh so that's uh it, it's a cool thing actually I, I do enjoy seeing everyone's different take on it and um yeah this this it's very it's it's very cool uh especially li like the english lyrics like okay okay this is this is interesting right uh they sound really good um i mean you know there's uh, cuz sometimes i guess maybe it's a difference between performing it vocally and then maybe speaking cuz i've noticed like sometimes um with itsy interviews they're a little bit reluctant the members to try and speak english unless they're like leah very very confident in it you know uh, and they'll, they'll kind of, you know, in that setting, it's like um, there's a little bit of a, a, a hindrance or a delay in being able to express something, right? Um, but they're really good. I mean, like when, when in the performance term, right? Like when it comes to singing these lyrics, their pronunciations are like perfect. And, you know, they know how to use the inflections on 
where they need to happen, like in certain words, you know what I mean? Like, so it, and, and it's all geared towards the expression still. <clears throat> that's the, uh, the point. That's the most important part. So the, the, my observation is they're actually really, really good at it, man. And, uh, you know, they, they should definitely feel uh, like a more confident feeling would be um, appropriate, you know, because they're they're actually really good, man. Uh, OK, so let's see. So we got uh, actually a pretty busy mix right here, right? Like there's some synth bass sounds and then some um, percussion percussion that's going on. And there's less of an emph emphasis on those quarter note downbeats. Uh, there's a lot of like 16th note uh, uh, rhythms that are going on here. Uh, some eighth notes and certain things, a little bit of syncopation in specific percussive parts, but it's kind of like, maybe ch like trying to hide the downbeats at first, you know? Uh, really, um, I think when Rio Jean comes in with saying born to be, born to be, that's probably the the thing that's the strongest emphasis on that quarter note downbeat. But when we start, we're gonna be pretty much a straightforward four count. Uh, even the first measure of uh, uh, the vocal lines is going to be like, straight downbeats so one two three four one again a two again a three right it, so it starts off with these very deliberate downbeats just giving you quarter notes and then the the second half of the uh the line there starts to bring in 16 note rhythms the first couple of beats uh the second time around it even gives you the uh uh the 16 note before the three so a uh, three e and uh right like it gives you a, one little 16 note in there uh before the actual third beat starts and then some uh sort of like a expanding and contracting right so when the the 16 note comes in it's a it's a contraction a strong rhythmic sort of contraction and then once we get into the third and fourth beats, eighth note, quarter note, uh, like uh, uh, expanding it again, right? So, so that space kind of opens up, but uh, a strong contrast rhythmically within the lines to begin with. Sit down, enjoy the show, cause it's about to go down. Dressing, I'm getting up, and now I'm running this. I found it, yeah, I'm the realest. No. Turn the upside, I'm not gonna miss it. The percussion is really punchy. It's like there's there's a lot of uh, uh, punch, but there's sort of like minimal splash. Uh, it, it, if it had a little bit more uh, of the reverb, then you'd hear a lot of that uh, splashiness going on. But it, it's very, uh, very punchy percussion. There's a, in that pre-chorus section, there's a cool uh, thing going on in the bass where um, it's like a horn sound kind of. Uh, let me see. Let me try and fix some of that noise there. Okay, a little bit better. And, uh, uh, but it's a nice, uh, like, it's a very clean horn sound for, for a strong bass, probably synth horn sound, like, which tends to have a pretty buzzy type of characteristic to it, but it's really, really clean. Like the way it's EQ'd, very, very smooth. And it's a very cool, like low end part, right? it's like, it makes the bass very substantial and gives it like a very strong character too. Um, everybody's rhythms stay pretty busy uh, after that first, after Yeji's part. So Yuna comes in uh, and then Ria Jin and Cheryang and their rhythms are actually m much more uh, subdivided, you know, more emphasis towards the 16th note, less space opened up by the quarter notes. 
uh, but everybody sounds great. <laughs> Victory Lane, that's uh, it, it's it's just interesting, right? The way that that it comes out uh, uh, when when the lines are delivered, but it's fun. It's very fun. It's very engaging. Um, they, they're they're a little bit So you have like a couple of synths that are going on during that chorus section. One's in the left, and it's basically like bam, ba bam, bam, ba bam. Then you have another that's in the right. Um, and that's like a buzzy sort of synth tone. Then there's one that is a little bit more kind of like a swept synth sound, and it's in the right ear, and it's doing a little melody or, or theme that you can hear in some of the chorus lyric lines. Da, da, dee, da, 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 da. like that part is going on in a synth that's over here uh, on, on the right side. But we do see the same sort of rhythmic contrast even in the um, in the chorus line because it born to be, born to be, right? So an emphasis on those downbeats again. One, two, three, four. And then the second half of it, more rhythmically intense, more syncopated and subdivided, right, with a lot of those 16th note rhythms coming in. So they're using that rhythmic contrast uh, in, in many different spots throughout the song as far as the, the way the vocals are, are uh, written. But it's very cool. And you notice that <clears throat> that synth sound, too, is that very, like, red, sort of hot, like, color, right? It's a buzzy... Uh, you know, it's very like uh, uh, stringent, uh, though it is carefully engineered in the mix so that it doesn't become overpowering. Like those synth sounds can be rather shrill. So you want to have them, again, panned out to the side. You want to have the, the, them limited so that uh, they, and, and they sound behind the actual vocals, too. So that way they're they're sort of in a safe space and they're they're articulating a little bit uh, uh, or, or maybe like you could say um, accentuating or embellishing the, the rhythm part of the mix. And so that's a, a, a really good way to use that type of sound. That pre-chorus section, <clears throat> you had that horn, that descending line in the horns, right? Bum, 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 bum. There was also, sounded like synth keys, but it's an arpeggio that's going. And it's, uh, it's a really like shiny uh, sort of sound, you know, like it's not, it's not super intense. It's not doing like the red hot thing. It's actually a little bit cooler, um, having more of like a bright white kind of uh, tone color quality to it. Uh, it's a very it's very light. I didn't even catch it the first listen through, um, but it's an interesting little, you know, uh, rhythm uh, uh, sequence to throw in there to kind of like it. It it does give this second pre-chorus a different feel, like. Now that I caught my ear, caught that, I was like, okay, this has a different, you know, almost like it's a more warm type of feel, uh, just because there are ar arpeggio that's going on. But we see again variation in the rhythms that are used uh, by, by each member throughout the section, uh, sort of going from a more rhythmically intense one to having a little bit more space and, and uh, hanging a around a little bit more on those downbeats. But everybody sounds great. Everybody sounds incredible. Right, 
crown really uh like funky kind of break there you know what i mean the the it sounds like a synth didgeridoo sound like you know the vocals are are kind of compressed and uh, kind of you know moving from the left to the right sort of back and forth uh it's really interesting like <clears throat> it creates a crazy kind of space um and the, the bass the way it's handled in that sort of breakdown part starts to ascend uh pretty high as far as like where it is in the mix i mean it, like f until that point in the song it's very consistently like on the low end there's a there's a point where it, it never goes above right but in this little breakdown section kind of that bass starts to get reach above that a little bit and the vocals are kind of like moving around it i guess a little bit right like allowing it to have some of that space and then uh it's a, it's really really interesting it's quite a it's a cool texture it's very measured like that could go um it could be a little bit too much if you, if you don't handle it the right way but it was very cool The rhythm came in really intense after that, you know, that brrr, it almost felt like double time. But it was only for like the first measure. Bum, 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 you know what I mean? It, it, had, it ramped up as far as the um, uh, what the what the the rhythmic emphasis was. We felt like we were going double time for about a measure. And then it was like, OK, back into this groove, back into this groove. It was really intense, though. <laughs> Very cool, very cool. This is, uh, I mean, it's got a great energy. It's got a great feel to it. It's, um, it's a little bit more, I would say, reserved in a lot of ways from, you know, some some uh, Itzy's earlier work. Actually, with the uh, Kill My Doubt album, uh, uh, that's you know about of some of the songs, of some of the songs that, uh. Uh, the choreo is it's it's very cool it's that it's very fun but it's seems less intense than like some other itsy choreography because they've done some really really difficult dances you know th but this is a little bit more measured like a little bit more reserved but it's still very stylish it's still very cool uh the sort of like the crown thing they were doing you know so it's it's a, a move that kind of alludes to it without like outright doing it. And then there's the, the part where they turn to Yeji and kind of like, okay, yeah, do the little nod to it. Um, but it's, uh, <clears throat> nothing's really like on the nose, I guess you could say, but, but they're very, you know, aware uh, as far as the, all these different concepts and the things that are specific to the group. <clears throat> But it still is a very cool overall sound. Um, it it's, has me very curious about what, like if this is for an album, what it's going to sound like, you know what I mean? If, it's, if they're going to uh, maintain this kind of style, this sort of dark uh, red type of style, you know what I mean? Uh, it would be, it would be cool. Um, but who knows? And then this is also a very specific type of uh, arrangement since there's only the four members, right? So there's always going to be like a, a change whenever that occurs, uh, as opposed to the the normal type of um, harmonic quality that you get when you have all five members. Um, and Leah's vocal delivery would have been because uh, she she actually is has a very strong voice. And so that might have really ramped up the sort of dynamic uh, quality 
in the in the song but um it was still very good it, it like i said it's just it feels like something's missing right without without leah uh, but it's still very very good and I, i'm sure she's excited for it as well <clears throat> and and probably you know she says they thinks that they've did a really good job the 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 members um and they did it's uh it's a very it's a very cool song uh it's a very cool video as well and this is uh, it, man it's crazy the pace that it's the has kept up then like for a while now you know what i mean uh it's kind of like three albums like really really rapidly then or you know like the kill my doubt then the ringo and then this born to be uh, that's um quite a pace to keep up man uh but good that's that's really good i'm glad for them uh that's it they're they're coming out with some really cool stuff but it's a born to be you know red hot and also very dark uh, uh sort of a <laughs> that that glowing light in, in in a dark sort of space right uh but but a very cool stylistic uh uh song with lots of emphasis on rhythm again i'm noticing that a lot in many groups lately is that there's a, a, a rhythmic intensity that's really <clears throat> prioritized, um, uh, I guess, as, a, as opposed to like a harmonic or a melodic type of uh, uh, prioritization. Uh, but they sounded really great, man, really great. In English lyrics, like totally perfect pronunciations of everything. Um, really nice expression, the control, inflection, um, and, and rhythm, though, rhythm like intense really really tight really really accurate and uh it's it's fun it's fun it's inter we're going in interesting directions you know what i mean lately but it it's cool it's cool it's the born to be very awesome track man i'm glad for them i'm happy for them <laughs> 